Hello, what's happening, everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing day. So very happy to be here for show number 2,592 here on Twitch. We're kicking things off with the Slug C run number 39 of the FTL 101. Uh, let's head on in and see where the day takes us. Somewhere fun, I'm sure. Before we get call, find people here in chat and your wonderful support. Just thanks everybody for being here for this fine afternoon to evening broadcast. What's up, Pet Brain Series at Gonza? Hey there, Terror Kittens, Bico One, Dead Eye Dan. What's up, Coyote Kyle, Mika Zoo. It's good, Sam Dabbers. Luck is real. Hey there, Show Not Found, Rhinomite, Gunhead, Dindy, NBM. Hey there, Kong Country. It's good, Bunny Wild, Joey Salads, Flacco. Hey there, who knew? And all the rest. Hey, feel free to throw out some uh, name suggestions for our vessel here. Uh, I'm going to grab some names for our crew off the patron list, and then we will uh, be on into our game. Where am I even at right now on this? Um, good question. We're on rain. Got rain, we got dubstep. And we got Mythic Apple. Yo, before we get started here too, uh, Rogdor, thanks for three months. Robinson, thanks for 18. Appreciate that year and a half. And that wolf, thanks for 16 months. All right, so this is number 39. Ooh, does this work? Ooh, okay, one more. We're gonna go Golden Waffle here. We're gonna mix a couple of your suggestions up. Looks good. Number 39, the Golden Waffle. All right, so uh, Slug C uh, has a pretty decent start. It has a weak starting weapon in Chain Laser. It's only weak because Chain Laser fires at the first time slower than most other weapons. So most ships are able to fire before you do unless you hack them. But you do start with hacking and mind control, which is um, 155 scrap worth of subsystem. Well, that's pretty good. Here we go. you are new to FTL, it is the roguelike game of space exploration. Our goal is to work our way through eight different sectors of randomly generated space on our way to a three-phase flagship fight. Uh, this square right here represents one sector map. The lines within are the fleet that will be pursuing us, pushing us towards the exit and beyond. All, it's all slugs here. Uh, starting with slug crew is nice as well, because you can see inside enemy ships or see the crew inside enemy ships, and also your mind control or your pilot and engines cannot be mind controlled, so that's cool. Yeah, how much power does this start with as well? Yeah, nine power too. It's a pretty, it's a pretty strong ship. No guarantees in FTL, but it's got as good of a start as you're going to get on most. Yo, that wolf. Thanks for 16 months. And Sargains, thanks for making it official with Prime. Glad you're enjoying the content enough to even consider that, partner. Here we go. Asteroid field. Oh boy, this could be a problem. Okay, I can't hack right away, and they have heavy laser flak. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, at least the heavy laser didn't hit. No hit shields, thanks. Okay, chain laser going down is pretty bad. Uh, we got to get this repaired in order to fire. Yeah, this is a very tough ship. I might actually run from this one, depending on what happens here. Okay, that has to go back online. Shields going down is priority right now. Please hit with an asteroid on their ship, thanks. Okay, I needed that. Okay, here we go. Shields are back online. Let's repair this now. Okay, we can now fire our weapons, so we're going to mind control and fire out. Okay, well, that's one down. It's a start. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's close this off. Um, let's go repair that. Okay, good, good. 
Certainly a start. Okay, double miss there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and fire out on weapons here. I would just like the repair to take more time to activate. That's the main thing. Now that we're firing um, every, a laser every... Uh, two lasers every seven seconds this is less of an issue there we go there we go well you're really not going to see a more difficult opening jump than that but we survived it even with uh, very bad circumstances we had our weapons go down uh, we had our shields go down we're still here I was very much willing to jump away from that fight, but it turned around at the last possible moment it needed to. Okay, well, let's hope for some uh, nicer jumps than that. All right, I'm going to go back here, I think. And then over. Check this out, though. All right, storage cache. Love to see that. All right, we got 14 parts here, and since we've taken so much damage already, I'm going to go ahead and hack weapons here. What this should allow us to do is fire our weapons before they fire their weapons. I can see that these two things are going on the same timer, however, and that means that uh, this is a Lado missile, only one damage. Please hit. Good. I find very often the solution uh, early game on Slug C is hacking weapons so you can fire the chain first. Certainly not always, but like if the Lado hits our chain laser here, we have to repair it and then wait another 16 seconds. Almost kind of a similar problem to the Stealth B, where you have a slower weapon that uh, has no protection. Okay, double rewards, fine. I'm going to head over this way now. Looks like there's plenty of room to wiggle around here. Maybe even dive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah. Might not dive here. I don't know. We'll find out in a moment. All right, on this one, the heavy laser mini beam, I want to put my guy on shields. Should be able to get a crew kill on this. Oh man, should be. Well, they're disjointed now, so we'll be able to fire again in time. That was the only place I couldn't get clipped to fire out in time here. But now their weapons are not firing on the same timer. It's going to be like five more firings of their weapons until that's uh, an issue. Alright, so I'm going to fire out here and mind control the pilot. Actually, hold on. Let's mind control the guy repairing. This is how we crew kill. This also delays the repair, which is awesome. Good. He's getting below 15 on this next hit. Okay, didn't quite hit him. All good. All right, there we go. Now, he should move down to weapons now. We should very easily be able to finish him off this way. These are the kind of fights you hope for on this kind of ship. There we go. Six fuel, 21 scrap. Nice haul. 
I'm just going to go ahead and buy two shields right now. Well... Am I? If I can get a better weapon, that'd be nice. Though I really like the idea of having two shields, just because uh, it's more ships we can get crew kills on. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get the two shields right now. It's very rarely a bad choice. Yeah, good time for that, huh? Alright, they have Mantis Repairing Weapons. I'm sure right now I'm going to hack weapons so I can fire this chain laser out first. Did my hacking part just get hit? Oh, man. Got taken out by an asteroid, even. Okay, this is also a Lado missile. Good to know. Fortunately, no real setup here. Um, ouch. Okay, there's fire going on here. I'm actually going to mind control the guy that's in the fire right now. Please hit. Good. Well, it toggled. Repair this. Okay, so what I want is... Um, this not to get repaired. So we're going to put this back online. This makes the repair take longer. Waiting for this to finish. How much health? 63-something. Um... I mean, he is going to get into piloting here. But... Uh, if I mind control him, should it mind control the Mantis? Yeah. Uh, we're not going to accept surrender here. Not today, bud. Okay, how much health does he have? He has 43. That's too many hits. Yo, Jersta, thanks for 11 months. Awesome spinny emote there, dude. Thank you so much for almost a year of support. And Dorian Latronis, thanks for 28 months of lurking. Thank you, thank you. Now, if I can pull off another mind control here, it is possible maybe to get the kill. Um, I'm actually going to leave this online. I'm going to mind control him. Uh, Hold on, is that going to work? Is he going to stop his repair to do this? Let's find out. He is. Okay, so I'm gonna drop this door so they can fight. Oh yeah, it's happening. It's happening. Two hits here and we got him. Oh no, don't do that. Oh ho ho ho, the asteroid robbed us of the crew kill. That's fair, it's worth a try. Fair play game. Oh yeah, I'll do what I can here. So this quest marker we just got, we're going to avoid because it's a Mantis War Camp and we don't have the blue options for it, but we will take the scrap up front. Believe that. Alright, so if we're not going to die, but we are going to hit this jump, um, looks like we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... I'm not seeing too much sense in diving on this sector. We get one extra jump, essentially. I would like to include these nebulas in our estimation, though. So, so we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, exit. If this is a store, we might change our mind here. All right, we're going to attack the Schlaver scum here because we can get a crew kill. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can. So unless this is an ion bomb or a small bomb that hits shields twice in a row, we are okay here.
I think mind controlling the rock makes the most sense. Oh, he doesn't even defend. Gotta do the pilot. Got it. That's fair. We got time. Ooh, interesting. So they swapped. I guess that works out good then, because we'll mind control the rock and piloting now, and we'll go defend that. Gonna be patient here and wait for this repair to finish. Okay, that's shield, so I'm gonna collapse on shield. It's one of the only ways we can take damage here. And they're gonna be out of um they're gonna be out of missiles soon. HP remaining. We get a cool fourth crew out of this. I would love an NG right now. Hopefully it's the choice of three option. here man let's go let's go what's your new name Lena it is Zarinma very nice start there all right with no store showing here I really got to think there's a store back in this area still haven't sold off the slug repair gel so we're now in range two to buy more stuff which is really good been a nice sector one so far. Nope, not buying a discount human. Not today. Hey, Alas001, thank you so much for 10 wonderful months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Good Reginald. Was it Raffle? No store sector one? Okay. Means our stores were down here somewhere. Pretty rare occurrence not to get a store in sector one. Attack the pirate, yeah. Alright, so we got a couple options here. Um, I think Med Bay Hack is probably the cleanest kill in this situation. So what we're going to do is we're going to kill off this Manus. We're going to hack the Med Bay. Uh, we could get a, a Nebula event in the store, but no, the store itself will not be in the uh, the Nebula. Okay, I think I gotta do... Uh, how much else do you have? 63. I gotta do one hit here. There we go. Okay, so they're gonna repair this, and they're gonna go to the med bay, and then I'm gonna lock them in the med bay and kill them. All right, are they going in here? They are. Hack him up, hack him out. Okay, he's at 53. Let's fire in here and see what happens, right? Okay, we've got a fire in there too, beautiful. 
So I'm just gonna, once he puts out the fire here, I'm gonna mind control him so he leaves the, the med bay room. And I believe when the mind control wears off, he's gonna try to go back to, uh, I'm gonna go back to the med bay, which turn our hacking will be up. No, he's not. Interesting. What if I hit him again? Is he gonna try to go med bay then? Yo, what's up, second engineer? That is pretty dope. Let's get Mallet a new name here. It's gonna be Air Gear. Pretty great. All right, we're gonna attack the ship here. Where's the hack gonna land? Okay, hacking landing on engines is tough because uh, we can't properly train on this ship now. But, I mean, a little bit. Just can't do engines. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna fire out at hacking one time. Uh, I'm hoping to swap the position of the the rock and the um, the human to make this mind control more efficient. In fact, let's mind control him now. This will make them fight. I want the human mind control because the rock has way more HP, so I want the human beefed up by the mind control to kind of even out their health amount. Okay, there we go, and now they swap perfect. So after this is finished being repaired, I can uh, mind control the pilot to achieve that same effect. Uh, average Adam, you can see a full list of games we've played here on doing XM games or game lists. There's the list right there. I'll say uh, Frostpunk is not currently on my list of games I want to play. I'm generally playing exactly what I intend to. Though if you have any suggestions for games you think I might like to check out, we do have a game suggestion channel in the Discord as well. Appreciate your feedback. Leaving him with enough HP is perfect. It's perfect. All right, I'd like to sneak just a little bit of training. So what I'm going to do here is actually uh, hit their their hacking and then mind control the guy when he's repairing it. I just need to hit him three times. So we don't need that much on him. Yo, Dualism, thanks for 25 months. Appreciate that quarter century. Average Adam, thank you so much for that prime sub as well. I'm sorry for not seeing you sooner there. Appreciate that support. Uh, I just say in general, uh, management or heavy strategy games are more uh, more games my wife enjoys than I do. I do enjoy strategy, but games that are very heavy in management, uh, I usually don't do. Just a personal preference, not a not a mark on the game at all. Yeah, okay. tough not being able to get the engine um, going here. I think I'm going to go halfway on shield training and then just kill off the crew. 
After that really tough opening event, the rest of the ships of the sector have been uh, quite nice. Not a lot of missile launchers, a couple easy crew kills. Uh, the opener was Asteroid Field, Flak, Heavy One, Zoltan Shield. Yo, Steph McQueen, thanks for five wonderful months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thank you. Third engineer? Oh, man. Gonna put him over here, and what's your name gonna be, bud? Three engineers, though. Elusive. It's pretty wild. All right, we'll board and investigate. Rain's gone. That's tough, man. That's tough, but, uh... Get cloned. All right, uh, pretty good sector so far. Let's see if we get a scrap reward here on the ending um, sector. Should explore the asteroid field. Nice. All right, so on this one... Um, I believe I'm going to hack weapons... Hoping that we line up here to hit twice. Like, this could be a crew kill, but I absolutely must have that down first. Oh, hell yeah. That's good. That's good. Drop this real quick. Okay, mind control's down. Whatever on that. This is definitely going down. Well, I really didn't think that'd be able to fire again. I was very mistaken. Good dodge. Okay, they moved into shields here because shields are on fire. That's interesting to me. I'm actually going to fire into O2 here and see what happens. Okay. Because I do believe they'll get this fire down. No reason they wouldn't. Okay, let's go uh, repair this real quick. See if we can get them fighting in that room instead. Uh, crew kill seems very unlikely here. Though not impossible. Oh yeah, we're not getting a crew kill. No problem. All right, so abandoned sector, uncharted nebula. Hmm. I'm pretty tempted to actually go abandoned sector here. I don't mind uncharted nebula sector too. It's generally okay with what we have, but no long range scanners, and I'd like to see stores. I'm gonna do abandoned. Cool tunes as well. All right, there's a store. Our first one of the run. And... Okay. Oh, we're going to sell slug repair gel, I'm sure, on that. Okay. It's definitely in our best interest to try to find another store. Well, let's grab a repair to 23 right now, and I'm going to grab backup battery, because that's generally a good idea. And now we need to find a weapon. Nice store there. 
Uh, let's inquire about the process. Oh, man, 50 scrap to craft a weapon? It's actually kind of tempting here since we don't have weapons. The problem is it's a random weapon, so we could be dropping like 30 plus scrap on the ground depending on what it, they make. So weapons that we'd want to get, uh, burst laser one, heavy laser one, heavy laser two, hole one, hole two, um, flak one, flak two would be fine as well. Um, Vulcan is okay, it would sell for more than they make. So that's eight weapons there. Burst laser two, nine. Uh, burst laser three, probably not. We'd make a profit on that. Um, weapons we don't want, heal bomb, lock bomb, stun bomb, ion bomb. Um, small bomb would be okay. Uh, bio beam, fire beam, uh, pike beam would be okay. All right, we'll take the risk. It's a, definitely a dice roll. Ion stunner for 50. Okay, we paid a lot for that. In fact, we overpaid uh, a bit. But uh, on good news, ion stunner does allow us to get through two shields. And ion stunner has some decent crew kill capabilities. We've got allied ASB here say that makes the idea of getting a crew kill on this ship a little more difficult, but not impossible. Yeah, Ion Center is useful, but very overpriced right now. At very least, it's usable. Alright, so I'm going to mind control the unit that is now repairing, so they can fight each other. Got him. Hey! Thanks for that patch up. All right, I'm going to go ahead and buy the weapon power now so we can have the Ion Stunner online. All right, pa patrol ship. This one should be pretty easy. If we destroy this, we should be fine. That should be an okay training opportunity even. Yo, Rhinoro, thanks for 13 months, and Ekate's Great Cloud, thanks for 62, man. Appreciate that. Alright, another store with three jumps before it. Cool. Technically four if you include this one. Looks good. Okay, we missed.
Nice. Alrighty, looks great. Hopefully we get some scrap from these upcoming events here. I really like an actual weapon. Okay, they got mind control and a setup that can't hit us, so if we just take that down, we're good. That's good. Uh, I don't think I really wanted a stress beacon right now, to be honest. Maybe in Lania's sector I do, though. Could easily be a double reward here. Yep, there we go. Alright, another ship that can't really damage us. They do have um, Clone Bay, but... Should be pretty chill. All right, then. Probably gonna do a second mind control and then wait for them to be out of missiles so I can eke out a crew kill. Guess we don't need this online. gonna wait out the missiles here oh man no he can probably get out not quite that's why we wait I think waiting for the small bombs to be out here is the way to go. There's a couple ways this could get bungled. They don't have very much HP on their ship, so uh, we'll just keep it cool. Oh my goodness, dude. Stop it. I'm going to move him out for a second. good it's not landing in weapons it's nice that's some very effective stuff going on with their fire their bombs here Bay down again. Okay, they're out of missiles now, finally. Okay, let's see how this goes. Right, it looks like he's gonna die. He is? Very nice. Got him. 
Yo, that's a very nice find right there. That more than makes up for this overpriced ion stunner we got. In fact, that puts us in range to buy any weapon we'd want to at the store. Sells for 47. All right, so this ship can barely hit us. Send in the Tickle Squad. Won't hit us on the first volley, though, so as long as we do one damage to weapon here, we're fine. So I'm going to do that. Not quite. I think on the next firing it might actually work, though. There we go. All right, now we're going to mind control this dude. Gonna try to get as much chip in here as I can, too. We should both be trying to repair that now. No? Only one of them? Should still be fine. He's almost dead. One HP remaining, 21 here. Cool. That's that. Oh, you're trying to power up your FTL? That's too bad you're dead, though. Here we go. All right, how about a real biggie boy weapon? H2. Hey, that's a real biggie boy weapon. Halberd Beam certainly is not bad with, um this setup either. I may consider Halberd Beam here with hacking. Might even be more effective than uh, the Burst Laser. The going to four lasers Ion Stunner is not, not shabby. Even Small Bomb's not bad here. Excuse me one moment, just going to use the restroom real fast. Alrighty. Back. Yeah, FTL does have a tutorial uh, in it, for sure. It's uh, a little bit uh, torn here. Let's see how much scrap we have for this. I have 114. So, one thing I could do um, is I could get Scrap Recovery Arm here. It's very early for a Scrap Recovery Arm. But it's only Sector 2, so if I picked up Burst Laser uh, 1 and Scrap Recovery Arm, uh, might not be bad. I could also buy Burst Laser 1 and then get to 4 lasers, which would be a lot better. But maybe I can do both. 
get to four lasers and uh, have that. Now, I will say just buying the halberd beam is also very tempting because halberd beam plus hacking uh, can mostly win a run by itself where four lasers ion stunner won't. Halberd beam still needs help though. So if we go halberd beam, we're going to go two hacking um, for sure. I feel like the halberd beam has a lot more longevity, but the burst laser one is safer for right now and very much better for getting crew kills with mind control. Yo, Ultigus, thank you so much for that gift sub, man. Really appreciate that. Too kind, everybody. Too kind. Well... I'm going to do this big risk here. I don't think it's the right choice, but it's the choice I'm going to make. I do think that uh, one... I do think the Halberd Beam has a better in-game potential, but right now the upside of this could be very high, especially if we're able to start getting a lot of crew kills uh, in the upcoming ships. And with uh, direct laser damage, that's certainly a possibility. In playing hard mode FTL, buying Scrap Recovery Arm is almost never the correct choice. Almost never. But if we pull it off, it'll be totally worth it, dude. Alright, on this one I'm going to hack their weapons so that I'm firing in first. I don't really want to eat the flak. Um... Let's go ahead and do this as well, and when we fire in. Let's go mind control. There we go. Okay, let's stun him trying to break in the door too. This is just more time that everything's down. My general idea is that I can lock him out of this room, delaying the repair. I can get mind control back up, and then I can mind control him uh, repairing the... the weapons and cause a combat where we can maybe get a crew kill. They're very low on hull now, so how much um, the efficiency of this is very important. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to let them in the room, and we're going to mind control them. So they're fighting in there, and then I'm going to lock them in the room again. Um, let us... Do I wait until the mind control is almost done to fire in, or do I fire in right now? No, let's wait. They can't escape the room right away, because I have the... Uh... Thing going on here. This should be a crew kill. Okay, here we go. Boom, boom. Got him. What's up, slugs? The slugs reluctantly thank you for your help. Protest they had the whole situation under control. Attempt to make you pay them for helping you. And an hour later, finally relent and give you some supplies. Classic slugs. Alright, now we're going to do this for four lasers. Now we have this as a possibility. And I need some power here, too. Five missiles for 29 scrap sounds awesome. I am so down for that. Alright. Um, you're definitely at your weakest inside of a pulsar when you have two shields. Or first, or we're just going to kill this ship is what I'm getting at. And 
I'm going to go for a weapons hack, because I think it's important here. Mm, Iron Center might have been just better here. Ooh. You receive one word message from the enemy ship. Surrender. You assume they're asking to surrender rather than demanding your surrender. Six fuel, one drone part, ten scrap. I'm going to take this. That's a lot of fuel and our drone part back. Wow, Jacob the Moose. Thanks for that tier two sub in 93 months. Thanks a lot. Okay, just gonna wait here. I'm gonna be completely free of ion damage and cooldowns jumping out of the pulsar. It's a good rule to follow. Three missiles for three drone parts. Awesome. It's just more drone parts we have to use. Ooh. The Zoltan Homeworlds. I think I just might. Let's. These Zoltan ships are, well, past the initial hurdle that you have to get through to uh, damage them. They generally provide pretty easy crew kills. And Zoltan Homeworld Quest could net us the Zoltan Shield, which is one of the most powerful augmentations in the entire game. So that sounds nice. That was a great Lanius Sector. We picked up the Burst Laser 1. We got Scrap Recovery Arm. Uh, we picked up the Ion Stunner as well. So we got two weapons, Scrap Recovery Arm. Uh, and we were able to kind of stabilize. That was cool, man. Definitely an above average uh, sector. Okay, now we got our first two shield ship. Look at that. All right, on this one, I'm going to go for, um, I think, what? well, <laughs> I'm waffling. Let's go for uh, pilot hack here. Kind of important I hit with everything here. Please don't small bomb my weapons. Oh my goodness, they're doing it. Okay, the second laser fired out there. That's good. Okay, that's acceptable. That's exactly why I put the burst laser in front at the start. Just in case that happened. Okay, shields getting hit's not great. Let's repair that. Good. Yeah, three injury repair is pretty intensely quick. And he's got that uh, 1.5 repair speed. Feels good, man. Three NGs plus another crew can really uh, fix most problems. Uh, fires also become much less of an issue, which is awesome. All right, so I got three jumps before the store here. Oh my goodness, need some water. 
silly sinuses. What are you doing? All right. One, two, three, store. Okay, we'll dock with him. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's actually quite nasty. Um, Is chain laser, burst laser, faster, ion stunner here? Doesn't matter. It's not much of a choice on this one. Double miss? Why, though? Okay, so I can either hack weapons or hack... Um... I, like, I'm going to go for a weapons hack here and then mind control the pilot. May regret this. No, we're good. If fire in this room, I'll just vent that. I thought it was, no matter what I do, I'm not going to get a full disable on this, so... Makes a lot more sense. Okay, that did go down now. Interesting. I'm just going to hammer weapons again. There might be a crew kill here, but with the mm, nature of their weapons, it doesn't feel very good. Maybe if I can get a... Uh, Mind control going in here. That could work. Yeah, okay. I don't know why they're not bringing this online. I'm grateful. Okay, let's mind control here. And then we'll let this down. Up. 70, 35, 65, 61. Can we get him below 30? Probably not. So we should be on this repair now. Okay. So he's trying to go to the med bay, and we can do 30 HP worth of damage. So he's probably going to break this door down. No, not in time. Got him. <laughs> Zoltan Candace has an urgent hail. Wait, this was a test. A test that you pass. A diverse crew working together. Surely a sight to warm the heart of any dispassionate observer. Come, I shall join your crew. Zealousy. Cool. One, two, store. Okay, cool. Here's a ship that two crew can't damage. So I'm going to try to save my mind control for hitting them so I can get a crew kill off of this. Okay, only NG and Zoltan can be controlled or mind controlled here. Slugs never get mind controlled. Okay, that's down now. Great. We know that mind controlling the pilot pulls them up, so we're going to do that. Fire out. That was spicy. How much health? 12? So I might as well do this. That went well. Oh, okay. Okay. 
like we're going to have some choices on how to spend our scrap. Now, buying a couple power bars and engine right now looks really good, but uh, getting a better weapon sounds nicer. Or at least having options, and our prediction that Zoltan ships would be a little easier to kill is coming true. All right, I don't need sensors. We're just going to continue not using a hacking part here. Look at that. They're already getting vented. Amazing. You can come in that room. I'm going to vent you from the other side, though. Ah, I let that guy go. Oh, that's cool, Greg. You don't lose your hacking part for that blue option. That's nice. It's always an assumption anytime I see the um, blue option with hacking part. I think it's going to use one. All right, this is not the store. Just getting the Ion Stunner into the build is adequate, so we don't need this store to pay out. It'd just be nice if it did. That's all. Alright, this ship does have uh, quite the setup. I, in fact, am going to hack weapons here to try to be safe. And my goal here is actually to almost kill off this crew, not to fully kill off this crew. Good. As long as one of those is down, I feel better. They're still going to fire in here, though. Alright, he died. That's unfortunate. Um, They're going to fire out their laser no matter what. Let's see if we can hit the clone bay right now. Okay, we can. So, one of the crew died. Alright, now if I can hit this and then mind control the unit in there, I'll be in a pretty good spot. There we go. Okay, now we're going to mind control. Actually, we're going to wait a second. I'm waiting for... Uh, specifically, I'm waiting for the hacking to be back online so I can toggle the door down here. I want them locked in the room with each other. So let's do it now. Let's break that repair cycle. It's no longer happening. Let them in. Let them do the work here. Okay, and then maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to finish this off. We'll find out here shortly. Okay, cool. No clone happened. How much health? No surrender. 36, just a little bit more than required. So there's one last remaining out here, and that is we get a fire in the weapon room with these lasers. Wasn't meant to be, and that's all right. On a ship that can damage you, crew kill is definitely very secondary, though often worth trying for. All right, if we have a good jump here, cloaking's a possibility at the store. 
That's awesome. Oh, wait. I gotta go store now. If I go one, two, three, four, five, we're diving. Not entirely sure I want to dive here. I'd also rather do non-distress in Zolden Homeworlds, because more chance to find that um, special event. Yeah, I don't think not getting cloaking here is bad by any means. I was hoping for a weapon, but now we know we can spend our scrap on other things. Let's go ahead and get uh, um, three engines power bar to start. I think that's uh, where I want to be. Let's go ahead and get weapon and power bar too, so we're going to have ion stunner on. That's, that's looking nice. Bam! An unarmed Zoltan transport vessel is slowly making its way towards the beacon here. They hail. This is a Zoltan peace envoy. We carry no weapons or shielding and rely on the mercy of others to communicate our messages. Hear these guys out. We take your silence for interested contemplation. They talk about length, about peace and harmony, but either it's beyond your simple mind or it's all nonsense. Next sector, we're either going to get a fully trained and everything Zoltan or Zoltan Shield. So Zoltan Shield's preferred, but um, certainly not bad. I also feel like maybe I can get two extra jumps this sector. Uh, like, this is behind the line. It's really iffy if it's over the line or not, but it almost looks like it is. I think I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and if this is a dive fine. If I can get two extra jumps in this sector, it's definitely worth diving. Okay, burst laser to fire beam. Alright. They also have med bay here. True kill might be possible in this situation. Okay, there's that. What if I mind control the guy repairing weapons? And then I tried to hack Medbay. And they also have Medbot Dispersal. That makes it really tough here. Just gonna give up the ghost on crew kill on this one. I don't think it's I don't think it's worth using a hacking part and having these other problems. torn if this is going to be an extra jump or not. Alright, here we go. We're about at the scrap amount right now. Well, after the next sector, we'll be at the scrap amount that... Ooh. Okay. The scrap recovery arm will start paying off. That's oh, a lot of empty jump. So we can take the exits, guarantee good or neutral events, and then go 2-3, or we could go 1-2-3, or we could just go to the exit and leave. I don't feel like we have a great diving ship or anything. Let's see what the exit has. A good start. Alright, we're going to search among the stores here. Uh, I was actually hoping for a fight, just like that. We could have used Mind Control there to get a guaranteed store. Fight's good too, though. Seventeen scrap. 
All right, I'm going to do this, and I think in worst case scenario, I'm going to buy four engine power bar. Yeah, that seems good. Okay. Oh, man, it was a... Uh... Was not worth the dive here. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and do this, and then we're in savings mode for next weapon. Yikes. It's a lot of weapon, dude. That's a lot of weapon. So, weapons hack or... If I had level 2 hacking, shield hack would be it. And also, pilot hack for guaranteed 2 damage. I think I'm just going to slap a weapon hack down and then hope for the best. It's like a Lado. Okay, uh, the big threat went down. It's only going to fire once at us. Nice that it's not there anymore. Wow, I can't believe that hit. Alright, went through our hacking. That was pretty cool. Mantis Homeworlds or Slug Controlled Nebula? I think I'm going Mantis Homeworlds here. All right, we're gonna we're gonna cruise on up to our Zoltan Shield possibility here first. Uh, I think on my radar, this sector is definitely two hacking, possibly three shields. Uh, if we end up getting Zoltan shielding here, could maybe delay that. Let's go ahead and make a make a beeline for the quest marker. Nothing bad's gonna happen there. Unless I click the wrong option. Okay. Two lasers bomb. Well, I think medbay hack here. Mind control definitely gets a crew kill. Is there another way to do it? Let's go for the medbay hack. Uh, mind control first, though. I want the engine mantis to go fight inside the piloting. Okay, or that to happen. Okay, what kind of bomb was that? Stun bomb. Very small possibility for damage here. Something cool I can do when this wears off, I can fire out Ion Stunner here, and I can actually hit them as they're trying to break into the med bay rather than using the med bay hack. Fires? I don't know if this Manus got damaged. So that may have been a mistake, actually. Guess we'll find out shortly. But on bum. Yes, come in the med bay. Refuel 38 scrap. Feels nice. Okay. We're inside a solar flare, so crew kill becomes much less important. Uh, we need to do probably three damage to weapons to disable the missile. Uh, what's our best way to do that? I still think I'm going to go for a weapons hack here. It's just very disruptive. Uh, let's not have Squishy Boy be taken there. That's good. OK. 
Okay. Go ahead and hit shields. This is gonna change their priorities. And now they have no shield inside the solar flare. Solar flares aren't about how many shields you have. It's more about if you have a shield online. Oh, fight in there, guys. That's what you're supposed to be doing. All right, well, they're done. To the quest. Dude, Spy Room, if I missed you earlier, thank you so much for 14 months. Uh, as always, never late to or miss your notification. Do sincerely apologize. Got a terrible case of humanitis and no alerts playing in my ears. Just thank you so much for sharing this time and place and the continued opportunity that is this time and place as well. Okay, we're going to attempt to hail them here. Uh, reconciliation of ideals. True progress can only be achieved without bloodshed. And Zoltan Shield. Awesome. Okay. That's a, just a huge pickup on any run, but especially at the predicament we're in right now where we're a little bit behind because we bought that scrap recovery arm, uh, that's real good. This is going to let us pick up um, two hacking right now and just kind of feel better about that. The simplest way to look at that uh, drop is that now picking up three shields is not as big of a deal. All right, three, six jumps before the exit. One, two, three... Four, five, six, exit. Uh, you would think this would be a dive with this jump back here, but if you see there's no jumps in this ring that we can connect to, so the exit is technically right here, only one extra jump. Uh, I may still consider diving. One, two, three, four, five, six, exit. Uh, well... I guess we could go back here if we wanted to. Let's take this route just so we have a few more options. Send the engine in. Bam. Little, little medium scrap reward right there. Uh, the Manus Homeworld event is very hard to complete on most ships. You need... Uh, woo, what? You need high, a uh, high-level med bay, a uh, teleporter to get a crew kill, and then um, you need either level three sensors, um, a crew kill, level two med bay, or clone bay for the events. As soon as you arrive, a small mana ship detaches from a wreck and jumps away. You must have interrupted their salvage operations. You find a weapon ready to be installed. Well, the weapon we just found here was pretty much the ultimate and what we could find to improve our weapon system or at least have more flexibility because now we can do, like, burst laser halberd beam. We can even do ion stunner halberd beam. Uh, we can do chain burst and ion stun depending on the situation. So this for crew kills and then the halberd beam for actual uh, ship kills. Very fortunate. All right, I mean, we can get a store again, but I'm going to search among the stores see if anybody wants to sell to me. They don't, but they gave me free stuff. Honestly, just picking up... Um... Picking up one more weapon power would allow us to... Uh... Fully damage a three shield ship with the halberd beam. I guess that's only for piloting hack. This does it with shield hack anyways. Thanks for the clarification on the Mantis homeworld event, uh, Crow Rebel. Appreciate that a lot. I'm a little rusty on that one because we almost never go for it due to its um, very difficult nature to achieve. So it's teleporter or level three sensors, and then in addition, level two med bay or level two clone bay. So you need both those things. Okay, uh, I was thinking that buying three shields sounds really nice right now, but if there's a store back here, I'd like I'd like a look. I'd like a look at a store. I 
Okay, double missile launcher. This is weird, man. I feel like a crew kill should be real possible here, right? Normally I'd let them board my ship and then almost kill one, then let them board the ship again and then almost kill him. And then kill off the clone bay, but it sure feels like right now, if I just start like this, this should be pretty significant damage out. Okay, firebomb. Ooh. Okay, so... Uh, the one crew is not injured at all, and the other crew are near death. That's awesome. They're also very quickly running out of missiles here. All right, there you go. So they're going to board with the full health crew. Uh, he's going in the clone bay. Um, all right. I was hoping to be able to funnel him uh, into a room where I could actually hit him. Okay, not everything goes exactly the way you want. Okay, fire right there is cool. Where are you going? Okay, you're coming into weapons. Beautiful. Come on in. Come on in. I don't know if we're actually going to get the kill here. We did. So now we're going to do this. We're going to mind control, and then I'm going to hit these. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, his mind control is almost done. Too late. 32 scrap a doom. Firebomb ion bombs. Actually, uh, there's some bad stuff that could happen there. Luckily, it didn't. Okay. Okay. Combat drone, heavy laser, mini beam. So there is a little bit of damage potential here. And again, it's unlikely. I've got a little idea. Let's begin by hacking medbay here. I just want to get this through before I do my mind control. It fired out. Depower. Okay, we did slip it. I'm going to depower that. I'm going to mind control here. Same thing should happen, right? Where they uh, they go to fight. Oh, anti-personnel drone. Whoa. That guy's in trouble. Right, I'm going to fire out here and actually try to hit weapons. I'd like less pressure. Going to let this down. Going to repower it. I'm going to hit hack. Uh-oh, they snoozing. Oh, I didn't quite kill him. I think this will do it. Okay, not quite. They're in trouble, though. Yeah. I think there was a much smarter way for me to approach that. All right, I'm at 201 scrap right now. Let's um, take this jump, and then we're going to buy three shields. But no more excuses for not spending our scrap. Uh, yes, I would like cloaking as my final subsystem, but Zoltan's shield also makes that less important. Okay, it's not a store. Diving here just doesn't feel great. Zoltan's shield totally makes it possible, though. Okay, I'm gonna just do this. I feel I feel good about my purchase. Examine the station. Nothing. 
Huh. Alright, I think with Zoltan Shield and three three shields, I'm gonna take a risk. Oh, it's Kazak event. No way, man. Yo, nice Jack. Congrats on that 1,000 hour mark, dude. Very few games can get 1,000 hours. FTL is one of those. You cross paths with a mana ship. Looks like it had dozens of layers of armor plating added. It must have been a 100 year career. Its captain is legendary thief Kazak Pleth Killick. Your crew look frightened. I think getting a crew kill here does have uh, some reward attached to it. Even without the Kazak. Like, he gives up the cash location or something like that. Their weapon setup, though, is not, uh, not great for getting a crew kill, though. Let's just start by doing this. Okay, I'm feeling better now. Feeling better. Um, let's go ahead and hack Med Bay. I think that's our that's our way out. All right, so these guys are low now. Okay, he boarded over. Awesome. Go ahead and hit here. Okay, now they both won the Med Bay. Perfect. Let's get double slug on this one. Nice. Move in to strip the ship. Uh, okay, yep. Yeah. Nothing there. We need a crew teleporter, I think, to get the uh, secondary option. Either way, though, we got a nice, uh, nice scrap reward as a uh, reward for that event. Not too bad. All right, Zoltan Shield can't block anti-ship battery, but we don't need it to. All right, double missile launcher is not what I want to see. Just review our options here. Uh, I can burst laser, halberd beam, shield hack for potential four damage on weapons. Um, I can hack piloting and get guaranteed three damage on weapons. I can hack weapons and just delay them by an additional seven seconds. I think with the Zoltan shield up here that this option looks good. Hot Dog Relic Killer, thank you for 93 months of support. That is more than a couple. Thank you. Ooh, yeah, that's the stuff. Double fire is always something you hope to see. Okay, our clone bay got hit and breached, but no other complications. I'm actually going to go ahead and hit shields here and just see what happens. Maybe we get a crew kill here. Very unlikely, but possible. Nope. Or not even crew kill, uh, just ship kill. Wow, Relic Killer, 93. You're so close to that 100 club, man. Hope you're having a good one, too. Thank you for tuning in. Okay. Well, we're going to head down here and see what happens. A big indicator for health of this run is we were able to get three shields online before Sector 5, and our weapon system is adequate with Halberd Beam, which I have not used yet. Soon. Oh, man. Uh, buying a scout for a 17 here is actually pretty tempting on the first jump of the sector. This would give us perfect pathing through the rest. Now, we do have to, to mind here that we are 
not only trading 17 scrap for the map reveal, we're also turning down the event associated with this ship. So whatever this ship would pay out and then 17 scrap on top of that. So in sector five, probably looking at minus 50 scrap or so. It also looks like a really easy ship to crew kill. So I'm um, a little tempted to not scout. So if you're going to consider it on the first jump of the sector, it's definitely the time. Yeah, I think this is definitely going to be worth the scout. Oh, yeah. Now we know what's up. Alright, so we got a whole bunch of rowdy stuff happening on our way to this store. Could even dive double store into a double dive. It really depends on how the sector goes, but... Asteroid field, asteroid field... Very nice. Alright, let's go make a bunch of scrap, shall we? Might even cut one of these asteroid jumps out. Intervene and defend the outpost. Alright, well this is a ship. Let's just begin by... Doing this. Get him fighting. Uh, so the ship can damage us barely. Oh, snap, they got boarding drone and hacking. Yikes. That's a very tough defend, actually. Um... Actually, fire into drones here. Okay. I'm going to swap over to the uh, halberd beam now. I am now much less interested in getting a crew kill. Hell, it's 16 parts. I'm just going to do this, too. Keep it easy on ourselves. That boarding drone is just damage waiting to happen, though. Wow, they had level 3 clone bay as well. I guess we made a good choice. Here this. 34 and 42. Oh man. Love it. Anytime, anytime you see that word um, outpost in the event text, you gotta get a little excited. Okay, how much is it for two more weapons right now? It's only 165. 165 gives us halberd beam, burst laser, chain laser. That is a very, very strong opening volley. For the moment, let's buy one more engine level 2 backup battery. This gives us a place to put all of our backup battery power. Certainly is a ship right there. No crew kill for us on this one. Just hoping to absorb the first missile. Um, our normalized volley here. Ooh, did I hack too soon? I feel like I did. Oh, we're good. No, 20 scrap surrender. Get him out. That's not the one, man. Oh, let's mind control this guy. That's tough. Definitely about the time in a run like this where the halberd beam starts really working for us.
All right, turn and fight. That is, that's a setup. It's definitely a setup. Man, I really got to feel like... Crew kill is pretty strong possibility if I mind control pilot here. Can I get away with that, though? With mini beam, heavy laser, burst laser 2, halberd beam. Man. Uh, frankly, I think I can pull it off. The first step here, though, is going to be um, hitting weapons. It's not anything else. Okay, good. See, just like that, much less problems. She's shooting the ion underneath here. The goal was to stun the unit in there, but apparently doesn't matter. Okay, now he's in fire. Stunned. He's probably going to leave the room here in a second. Yep, that means he's below 20 HP. Got him. I would love to have their weapon set up. That'd be nice. All right, let's just follow the scrap train into the station. Am I going to be leaving some sort of substantial amount of scrap behind going this way? One, two, three, four, five, six before the exit. Seven and a half before this store if I'm going to do a double dive, which I'd be open to. One, two, no, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, six and a half, seven and a half. It's like meant to be, honestly. Okay. Juice Man at 001. Thanks for 76 months and enjoy your continued lurk. Well, Crew Kill to me is looking pretty out here. Let's go ahead and go Halberd Beam Burst Laser. Um, and hack shields. Get a very strong five room hit with the halberd beam versus this composition. And if it goes well, and it should, uh, we should be able to get four damage on weapons, which is enough to disable the missile launcher. And then we can mind control the unit that's going to try to repair the weapons because i don't want the missile launcher coming back online that's that with having one two three four probably five scrap maybe six scrap events i'm very tempted just to buy weapons right now to get the four laser halberd beam Feels like a working system, though. Uh, if I don't spend some scrap now, I guess the problem I'm seeing is that I'm gonna hit this, these stores with like 400 scrap, which is way more than I need for them. Uh, enemies can have up to 10 power in systems, Gask.
Let's go ahead and buy level 3 hack. We're not seeing 4 shield chips yet, but there's a lot of things that could happen in FTL where having uh, 3 hacking just makes everything a lot more cozy. This ship can really strip our Zoltan Super Shield very easily. So... Still has to be this setup because it gets a kill in two hits. So on this one, I want to delay for just a second before I start my hack, because I want to fire the Halberd Beam before I fire the Burst Laser. Almost certainly, their piloting will be down on the Halberd, which guarantees the Burst Laser hits. Attack the Pirate. Love it. All right, Chain Ion. <laughs> Heavy laser. All right. As long as I damage either weapon here, we're safe. Uh, so let's begin by doing this. And we're definitely going to roll this type of composition on this one. Should be a crew kill potential. Okay, we're going to let them board first. Then I'm going to hit weapons just for safety. Chain Ion takes an incredible amount of time to get online. Send in the Tickle Squad. Okay, he went back. That's fair. We're going to mind control this guy now. They're going to duke it out. As soon as somebody dies, this is going. Good. This guy's almost dead. They got piloting. Is he really going for that repair? Well, I don't think that's unwise. Got him. My enemy FTL delayed forever. Uh, nope. Nope. Four fuel sounds good, but... We got two stores coming up, and they're done. Mmm, got a map reveal off of that one. Interesting. All right, Ion Storm. We don't need level 2 piloting for this because we have Clone Bay. This allows us to do the manually search the wreckage event, if that is what it is. Okay. Intruders on board. Let's just leave the room here. Let's open this door. All right, so everybody's trying to go down here. Let's do that. I'm going to close this door back off. Uh, I'm going to mind control in here. After this restabilizes, going to go back in that room. It looks like they're going to kill off the mind control guy, and then I'm going to open this door. Oh, that door was like partially broken to begin with. Interesting. My man got tickle squatted right there. Death by pillow fight. Uh, Shin Yakimura will fight in no O2 if your O2 is on and the door is closed. So you can, um, you have to reclose the door. It's a really funky interaction, honestly. But you basically have to mind control, vent the room, then close the door and toggle the O2 from there. Okay. They got three lasers, ion stunner. Um, I don't really care about the engine hack. Let's go. I think a very easy crew kill here would be level 3 O2 hack. 
go give this a try. Oh, they got four lasers even. Um, okay, maybe not. Maybe not. I want to see what happens. I'm curious. They have level 102. They're in huge trouble. Okay, they're sending out hacking now themselves. I probably should have waited for that. That's tough. All right, I made a little whoopsie here. Actually quite imperative, in fact, we hit weapons at least a little bit. I may be running from this ship. This was not not a smart play by me. Especially with having that one engine, this is really dumb. With the correct hits here, this could get really bad really fast. Mind control the pilot here. Please hit. Thank you. That's something. Maybe go for an O2 hit, because I can get the kill off of that. I have to hit O2 for the uh, hack to be effective. Okay, let's give this a try now. I can jump away if things go wrong, and we are going into stores, so... Uh, not the other way. We're going to wait for the next weapon hack. All right, gonna mind control the pilot. Gonna hit here, hopefully. Okay, we got a fire in there too, that's good. That is good. Okay, well that's a down now. Nice. So now, even if they repair this, uh, we're going to get a hack off again. This is really nice. And the next hack is going to take him down to no two. Please hit. Nice. Okay, so they got O2 repaired, but this gives us time to hack. I think now, even with level two... Well, I got thoughts here, but they're not... not forming properly into sentences. I gotta say, even if they get another repair, they're just done. Level 102 is not enough to work with the hack. Yeah, this is it for them. I'm really surprised we didn't take damage here. All right, better lucky than good. That was a, a massive risk I should not have taken. Here we are, 292 scrap, though. It's a lot. Hey there, Hal. 
Level 302 hack. Let's see if this hits. Good. Uh, so we're going to start the hack, then we're going to do this. Please hit. Thank you. Definitely going to pepper weapons here a smidge. Good. Alright, so even if he makes it in here, we're just going to hack again. One key thing here is we do need to hit the uh, clone bay at some point. Doesn't have to be right now, though. It's mind control, the guy repairing O2. That way it doesn't happen. Ng's all over it now. Didn't miss. As soon as that repair is finished, we start another level three hack. And here's where we go for the this hit. it right there. 2% oxygen. Sensor station. Well, this will probably just be a map reveal. That's okay, though. I think I can get away without using a hacking part here. Let's try. That's good. So I think our mind control has to be powered here in order for anything bad to happen with that. Good. Level 3 piloting. That makes sense. We're almost down on piloting here. So, Beam would have been able to get the kill here, for sure, but um, looking at direct damage, if you want to disable only one system, lasers are generally more effective because they're pinpoint. Alright, so I'm going to do a double dive after these stores, and we'll be prepared for that. Got two stores, scrap recovery arm, farm the asteroids, nice, 403 scrap, even after spending that scrap, we made it back to 400. Alright, crew teleporter ain't it for us. Don't need fuel either, that's fine. Let's see what's up here. Okay. 
So no cloaking, so I don't think I'm gonna buy uh, from the store. I'm gonna save about 150 scrap for the. Let's go to 25 here. Um, the inevitable possible cloaking, <laughs> and then we're gonna buy uh, six engines here and two power bars. So if you have six engines and fully trained pilot and engine guy, you should be able to um, get out before ASB fires. That's a good question, uh, Crow Rebel. Crow Rebel asked if I would debate buying sensors to thin the item pool for other subsystems. Um, I have done that before, but in this case, I don't think I would. Definitely worth considering, though, since we have uh, the scrap recovery arm, which has made us way more than the cost of sensors. I think right now I'd rather just have um, weapons online. So it isn't quite saving the 150 I said I was going to. I think this is going to happen. And then we'll have four lasers plus halberd beam and level three hacking. Even if I don't get cloaking, that should be good enough if I go into defense. Is that what I need right now? Yeah, I like the idea of doing six guaranteed damage to a single system or near guaranteed. Yeah, if I get an immediate store, I may have some small regrets about that. But surely that won't happen. Alright, double dive time. Alright. That's actually quite a bit of laser that times out pretty well together. Let's just do this for right now. And back to that sensors question, I'm probably a little more shy than I need to be about buying those systems that the ships don't come with. I have a hard time spending scrap on something I don't have a function for, though uh, I definitely get why it can be good. Alright, made it out before the ASB. Nice, our sixth engine play paid off. Alright, now this ship is much less scary. I know from many previous experiences that the Flak 2 will fire around the same time as the ASB. So that means that this weapon system isn't really going to go off on us. So no need to hack. Yo, Charlie the Fish, thanks for 20 awesome months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Uh-oh, I may have underestimated our charge here. That's all right. That's what we got dodge for, right? Just took a little chip. Uncharted Nebula Abandoned Sector. Well, Abandoned Sector 6 sounds pretty tough. I think I'd rather brave the Nebula right now than face a Lanius Bomber. We had a great Lanius Sector 2. Lanius Sector 6 is a whole different... whole different deal. If we had a Lanius crew, however, Lanius sector becomes more tempting. 
Okay, this looks like a nice sector. Very excellent uh, exit location. Very far to the right-hand side. See if we can collect some scrap. Uh, my immediate goal is to get above... 150 scrap so we can buy cloaking. Alright. I could see how we could maybe get a crew kill here, but I can also see how we can probably just get a kill without using a hacking part. So let's give that a, a try. If you have level 302, you can overpower the Lanius borders. Sure. What do you have to not buy to buy level 302 would be my question. Let's go like this. Okay, we absorbed that last missile. Oh, hell yeah. That was nice, man. Oh, you're asking if you can. Gotcha, Red Rabbit. Um... I think level 302 would slightly overpowered double Lanius border. I think. Because one Lanius, as far as I know, equals one breach. So level two oxygen with your doors open versus one Lanius border uh, definitely can achieve something like that. Do I have anything to sell? How Have we gotten anything for free this run? We got Halberd Beam for free. Anything else? Hull Repair Drone. It's just those two items so far. Alright, I'm gonna go over here. Well, yeah. I can get two jumps before the store this way. I mean, technically three if I wanted to backdive. I just want 150 scrap on hand. Do that. I could sell Ion Center to buy cloaking right now, but... Where's this fire at? Since we don't see fire anywhere on the systems, we know it's in one of these empty rooms, so we'll just vent the stuff we can't see. Uh, Electron, we're playing on hard mode. Uh, always hard mode for this stream, at least at this point. I've been playing since 2012, so hard mode is it. Yeah, we gambled on recovery arm early this run. It is definitely paid off at this point. Alright, silence and come on, scrap a do. One fight. Alright, uh, advancing here gives us a fuel and scrap reward option. I'm still going to attack the pirate though because. Why are you pirating? Okay. Explain yourself. Well, if I'm going to do a hack here, I'm just going to do an O2 hack. Only level 102 means they are mega bamboozled here. Right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to fire the chain laser out this way. We're going to do something like this. So important note when you're hacking enemies O2 uh, is that you, if you start your hack before you damage the system down, the hack continues through. But if you try to damage the system, then start your hack, it doesn't work. You cannot start a hack on a system that is has zero health. Man, that is one strong human, dude. Um, what a bungle that was. Let's actually do this and this and that. Alright, the O2's fully down. There is one guy hanging out in the med bay. We'll fix that in a minute. Everybody's dead but this guy. What's up, this guy? 
Hey, defense drone mark one. All right, there's cloaking. There's long range scanners. Okay. Okay. Another scrap recovery arm. Um, I'm not going to buy that. It's a cool idea, though. I am going to buy cloaking, and I'm going to buy long-range scanners, though. This does cap out our augmentations, which means we find an augmentation later on. Um, it will have to throw it back out into space. But that being said, long-range scanners, if it gets us one extra fight this entire run, it's going to pay for itself. So that seems like a very adequate reason to pick it up. Uh, now I'm going to purchase four fuel. And we're looking at some uh, reactor upgrade and other things here. How much power do I have right now? I have 17 power. Okay. I can't just like let people call me repugnant here. I mean, what kind what kind of uh standard is that set if they can just call me repugnant? Not one I'm happy about. All right, on this one I'm going to go for a shield hack. We're looking to totally disable the weapons here. That's the short of it. Mind control the pilots. Actually, hold on. Instead of mind controlling the pilot, let's try dragging this beam through. And if that gets it, it didn't. Uh, we do that. Good. Ah, uh, no. 23 scrap. Not enough. That's right. You can't just go around calling people repugnant. That's not cool, man. Not cool. Hey, our first four shield ship. There's one bit of advice I can give to you in FTL is never underestimate a Combat 2's ability to mess you up. Hey, what's up, Simcopter? Nice to see you, man. Hope you and the fam are doing awesome. Okay, they got level 3 piloting. Let's try this real quick. And let's hit over here, too. Good. Summer's been good, Sim. Garden's going, you know. Just doing the thing. I'm going to get as far over here as I can, I think. Well, no, let's go one, two, so we can hit this jump and then come over this way. Does that leave us enough waggle through here? I don't know if that does, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven and it's some change. Uh, I will enjoy the even more strawberries uh, next year. So this thing's uh, crazy. I actually ended up transplanting our strawberries uh, last year. We actually got a decent harvest... Um, last month, which was awesome. Strawberries love to grow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh yeah, we're good here. We're good.
Long range scanners, man. Get them. 40. Okay. Gonna follow the guaranteed scrap down here. I was actually excited because this year we finally got a good harvest of some garden lettuce. Last year didn't go so hot. This year, though, it's been good. Well, hold on. They only got two shields. If they have two shields, it makes me feel like they have an incredible amount of piloting. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do a pilot hack here. Okay, maybe not an incredible amount, but enough. I don't know where their hack's going to land, so it's important to me that my first volley lands um, and destroys. Okay, here we go. This. Looking good. Hey, Shidar, thanks for three months. Appreciate that continuation. Boom, boom. Hey, there it is. There it is. All right. Well, they didn't get away. That's nice. What am I saving for right now? Probably four shields. Some value points would be nice, too. Level 202. Piloting, cloaking. Okay. What this tells me, if I do two damage, both these weapons are down. Alright, I'm going to go for a shield hack. I don't know if this is ideal. I think pilot hack might actually be a little bit safer, but this is certainly faster. Look at those jukes, man. Alright, so now we're going to go like this, and then I'm going to go like this. Since we did two damage here and only this went down, that means it was an Artemis missile for two damage. Zoltan's shield has been extremely powerful on this one. Let's get ourselves to a power amount where we're powering everything with level two backup battery. So right now that is... Three power bars. Cool. Eh, I think I'd rather not fight. Yep, come on in. So here I'm going to close the door. So if you close the door, the AI mind control unit will fight no oxygen. However, if you leave the door open, they will leave the room because they think that they're part of your crew. I like what they did there. That was nice. Oh, hey, there's a store up here. Do I care about a store right now? Not really. Could go one, two, three, four, exit.
Uh, mind control has a large cooldown, so no, there's no such thing as permanent mind control. Yo, more. Thank you for 48 months. Dude, Charlie the Fish, sorry for missing you earlier there. Thank you for 20 months, Charlie. Always feel like a jerk when I miss somebody's sub or resub. My bad. Oh, and to your question, Charlie, uh, no more cosplay streams for me. Those were a fun adventure. Not a sustainable uh, venue for myself. Yeah, let's just take this route. I mean, this is all right. This could be manually search the wreckage or something, but... Giant alien spiders are no joke. Do we beat the giant alien spiders? Wow. My crew did that. Proud of them. Hmm. I'll go three for six. Black is actually not near as good as you might think in this situation. Since we're on seven power and weapons, we can only fit a one power weapon into the system. So in order to actually run the flak, we'd have to drop the halberd beam. So we do flak, burst laser, one chain laser, ion stunner, which is a fair system. But is it better than having halberd beam for lasers? I don't think so. Even just replacing the chain laser with the flak, while it is one more projectile that fires faster, uh, we're still waiting on the halberd beam to fire most times. So uh, it's not... I don't think it's a 65 scrap improvement. I'll buy one fuel, just not to be rude to the store owner, you know. Don't want to be uh, accused of loitering. Yo, another ion stunner. Cool, dude. Oh, joy. Sector 7, Abandoned Sector. Now, while as nasty as Sector 7, Abandoned Sector is, we do have a very strong setup for this. We have Zoltan's shield to stop them from boarding, which is big. We can also stop mind control, and we have a good opening volley. So I don't, we don't think we're in trouble or anything. It's just these events can be complicated. Okay, we're going to go one, two, three, and then back to the store here. Yeah, this is the one right here. These are the ones that are scary. Do you require assistance? Okay. Okay, so now we are going to hack shields. Um, do I accept this missile as part of our existence? I do. I'm gonna counter mind control here. And now they are gonna board with Lanius, which is tough. They're trying to board with the guy that's currently in shields, which is to our advantage. Okay, there's that. So I want the halberd beam to go from piloting through mind control. Okay, piloting's now down, so these four go in here. That's six damage on. Not accepting surrender for that. 
Okay, they did board in the shield room here, so we're gonna go into level two, stable O2. I'm gonna open all of my doors to stabilize the O2 situation. And then we're gonna create a four on two. It's fine. As soon as he's gone, this is gonna stabilize. Essentially, each Lanius crew is a um, is a breach. I am mega tempted to go into level 302 here, which I almost never buy. How much is it? 50? Ugh. Let's go ahead and buy level 2 um, clone bay here. Dr. Danger, PhD, thanks for 21 months. Let's inquire about the process. Okay, we're going to decline the offer here. We already bought a weapon this way in the first Lanius sector. All right, that's a Pulsar. I'm going to skip the Pulsar here. Roy Banjo, thanks for 29 months too. My goodness. No active weapon signatures are detected. Well, we're going to go for the attack here. Actually, not too bad. Oh, maybe you can get a crew kill here. No, I can just get a kill without using a part at all. Let's do that instead. They get a shield hack or something out that could actually be pretty bad for us. Nope. No surrender. Stunner. Don't necessarily need fuel. This is the last sector before sector eight. All right, I'm going to purchase four shields, two power bars. Okay. Ooh, this looks nice. I believe scanning for life forms is a guaranteed fight. Whew, that is certainly a weapon system they got there. Well, all right, everybody, just about the three-hour mark of our broadcast here. I take that same break around the same time we take every single broadcast. It's going to stand up, stretch my legs real fast, use the restroom, grab some water. I encourage you to do all those same things as well. Do enjoy this spicy Jim B and any other kitties that may appear uh, during our brief break. I'll return in just a few moments to continue this run into Sector 7 and beyond. Reminder, no ads for this break or any break during the show. Just do one set at the very end. Uh, see you all in just a couple minutes.
All right, we have returned. Thank you so much for your patience during that brief intermission. Let's head back into our game here. We're back. We're fed. We're feeling good. Uh, start of the break. One shot, zero 13 things for 52 months. All right, what are we currently facing? This is pretty, pretty uh, devastating volley, though. We can cloak all of it at once. Looking like a pretty easy shield hack here. waiting for the burst laser 2 and heavy ion to fire or at least the burst laser 2 here all right i'll cloak that mind control fire here and do like this like this uh no surrender wow we almost got them all in one go there that was amazing Big bada boom. Oh, well, the scrap train just keeps on going now, doesn't it? Good to me. Like all the fights I can get going out of Sector 7. Alright, we'll attempt to download here. Good. We were actually hoping for a fight. Get more scrap this way. I feel like this uh, can get a crew kill. There's no med bay, no clone bay here. Let's go for it. Level two oxygen. All right. So we're gonna cloak this. Good. I'm just gonna go ahead and mind control this unit so he leaves and the repair is no longer happening. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a nice offer, but... Uh-uh. That's it, 0% O2. Yep, that's, that's our Instagram. It's all cats and vegetables, guys. The whole thing. All cats and vegetables. Vegetables are awesome. Alright, I see double flak here. Maybe one flak one, one flak two. No med bay, no clone bay, so yeah, one flak one, one flak two. All right, I mean, like, I'm open to maybe getting a crew kill here, but it's going to be tough. Let's just absorb this first volley. I want to cloak this thing, which will fire at the same time these fire again. Test face killer. Thanks for 43 biggins. Thank you. 
Uh, double Lanius means no two kill as well. I didn't even think about that. Um, I was going to say, I don't think I need to cloak here. Doesn't feel like it. I'll cloak that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and halberd beam this way. And then I will hit here. Awesome. Let's mind control the unit inside the weapons room. Yo, test face killer. Thanks for 43 once again. I think I just doubled down on you there. My bad or you're welcome. Alright, Reinhardt the fully trained and piloting Lanius. I think I'd rather have a high scrap reward right now. Great. All right, let's round out value points now. I'm going to get value piloting, value cloaking, value mind control. Uh, value implies that we don't plan on powering it. We're just buying it to have it. <laughs> oh, I'd say definitely so, luck is real. Our scrap recovery arm is more than paid for itself. Probably paid for itself two and a half times over by now. I'm gonna go for a seven engine power bar here. Sounds cool. Looking to buy weapons by the end of this just to have the value point and for phase three of the flagship fight. Seven fuel for and tw for 26 scrap. I might as well, because otherwise we don't get anything, but this is like an egregious offer at any point in the run that's not about to get free fuel from the end of the sector. Fine. Dude, this is the third time on this. Somebody want to sell to me? They don't. Nobody's wanted to sell to me at any of those events. I get it. What was that noise our cats just made? That was something. Winston and Daisy are, like, the best of buds right now. Oh, I'm definitely going to dive here. Oh, let's go ahead and buy the weapon power now on this power bar. There it is. I have no reason not to dive. In fact, I may as well double dive here, I think. Let's take this jump and see if we're double diving. All right, Daisy. Yes, you're right. There is a bug in the room. She's going ballistic. Holy guacamole. This cat is going nuts. I'm going to go for a crew kill here. O2 style. Daisy's first bug. Oh boy. Oh, let's go here. Can do 
this. I'm gonna start my hack and then uh, there it is. Very nice. No real incentive right now to anything else. I should have powered one real power in here to slow this repair down. Uh, I have a feeling it's not going to matter this run. It may be best if they uh, get this powered up, huh? Okay, enemy FTL delay. They may go for it, though. Let's do this real quick. No. I'm curious as if they're going to try to go into their piloting again or not. I hope not. It's looking like no. Yeah, I'm going to double dive. So we go one, two, three. Since we have seven engines, three hacking, and adequate parts, there's no reason not to take this additional risk. Our engines will, are going to allow us to, well, quite easily, in fact, get through everything. All right, four lasers beam drone, and some other stuff. All right, let's do this again. So the bad one here would be a system repair drone, right? But since I already see three drone types showing, they're not going to have that. All right, I guess I'm going to do this then. Okay, they got anti-personnel, so they did have four drones. That is so wild, man. So wild. Gonna wait to see if O2 goes back into this room, and as soon as it does, hack begins. That's the kill right there. All right. Well, nothing currently to buy, really. Just gonna hold out for a moment. So we're doing a double dive technique. I have no intention on getting uh, kills on these ships. I'm just trying to get past them so we can get into Sector 8, get our 10 hull repair, get our fuel. Uh, the Tested Hunter Slug Sea definitely has a strong start, but it has a very slow weapon system to begin, so it's good and bad. Though I think the good in the starting ship far outweighs the slower weapon. You essentially start with 155 scrap and subsystems, so it's definitely a good ship. And if it gets rolling, it often has a very nice run. I don't even need to use a hacking part here. That is exciting. Okay, they boarded. That's fine. Now we can jump. We've saved our cloaking and our hacking for the second one. Great. All right, on this ship, I'm just going to slap down a level three weapons hack.
Keep it simple. Keep it good. Yo, ball cap. Thanks for 24 months. Appreciate that two years. Hey, I like that description a lot, Karevel, that uh, Slug C is able to capitalize on uh, game knowledge. If you can get crew kills with it, it only increases the efficiency of those starting systems. Well phrased. Hey there, McQueeb. Nice to see you, man. Saw you were playing some FTL yesterday as well. I want to hit at least one repair station. Let's go up here now. Alright, for me, this is easy shield hack. I really don't have, like, enough good spots to put my power right now, which is a great spot to be in. Waiting for the halberd here, because halberd going through piloting means our chain and stuff will hit guaranteed. Yo, Felsbar78, thanks for 48 months. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a lot to manage, especially when you first start playing. Lots of ideas to keep in mind. Obviously, very different games, FTL and chess, but I think they do have um, some similarities in that. Um, the knowledge base for chess, you collect these ideas that work on the board, and FTL is very similar. Once you become aware of an idea, you're able to utilize it. Like mind control kills, or firing order, or which system to hit on which ship, and why. Always more things to consider and different ideas to be aware of. All right, so I think I'm actually going to go down here now and go back up. I don't want to take a dead jump into the base. Can always cut back here if I need to. I think we got enough time to do this. In fact, I know we have enough time to do this. We found you at last. Prepare to die. What if I don't want to? What if, in fact, you're the one that's dying? Not yet. Now. Alright, so I'm gonna go here. Start. They only got level 102. That is a really bad time for them, man. I'm just going to wait for my hack to be back up because I can get him down to 0% O2 right now. Okay, that did hit. Let's do this, I guess. Yeah, they're done. They are done. Dunzo bunzo. Oh crap, they got Clone Bay. 
That's right. I remember now. I got one of those. Oh yeah, we're good. We're going this way. Alright, let's go ahead and buy the last engine power. And then we're really down to just uh, secondary stuff to buy here. Let's go ahead and get uh, level 3 doors now. Definitely fighting here. Halberd being fired? This ship can't damage me. Oh, man. That's pretty cool, dude. I hit? Is it hit? Okay, we hit there. Uh, I guess I'll go through like this. Uh, let me check for you, big block. Uh, as of this moment, I have 3,295 hours in FTL. Oh, double fire, too. That's just a dirty, dirty hit right there. Get bamboozled. Nice. Yeah, all right, I am going to take this and then jump to the base. I don't want to have the enemy flagship hanging around at the base extra turns. While we do have a very nice setup, we get our weapons hacked or something. It's just annoying. Cool. Actually, I'm going to go for a three clone bay. Before we start this, let's go here. We know we're diving away, so we might as well max out our engine. Eight engines will get us out way before an anti-ship battery fires. There's no chance for the anti-ship battery or either of these weapons to fire, for that matter. Okay, well, I guess I was wrong, but uh, it's okay. So I can intercept now. I'm just going to do that. I'll jump away to that other fight if it's still available. I will. Gotta be shield hack here. Okay, here I'm actually gonna go level three cloak, which is not something you normally do, but on phase one, uh, this should be very cool. I started my hack a little bit late here. I'm worried that they might actually be able to cloak in time. No, we're good. Stop the repair as well, and I'm gonna go. Let's go like this. I think through hacking may have been slightly better. But they haven't been able to hack yet, so there it is. Oh no, anything but my doors, sir. Have mercy. What if I gotta use the restroom? My doors are hacked. 
That'd be inconvenient. It's another situation where I should have left the, um, the single regular power in the hack. At least one kill there. I was a little worried about that. Okay, well, we'll drop this for this. So, slightly different execution there. I think we could have killed that before that last missile volley, but a very marginal improvement. Just verbalizing it just because. Okay, want to fight them at the base phase too, so I'm going to take this jump down here. And we're going to buy level 3 this now. Are we actually going to max out on this run? Hi. Started my hack way too late there. Well, good. I'm gonna dodge this one. Actually, let's yeah, let's dodge those. Cool. All right, we're gonna go from piloting through weapons. Does it take piloting down? It does. That means our chance of disabling all of the weapons is much higher. Well, this is kind of dumb, but I am going to jump down here and then jump back. I am very unconcerned about phase, uh, phase 2's killing ability. Phase 3, on the other hand, big time. Okay. This is definitely a ship. Watch out for this. Okay, shield's still up here. For now. Trying to cloak this one, of course. Um Okay, that was pretty close. Yo ho! That's a tough achievement to get, man. Something like uh, have five lasers hit in a row with maximum engines. Mostly tough because you rarely have max engines. Okay. You know what time it is. It's shield hack time. I'm going to follow my own advice and put one regular power in hacking so it stays online. Oh, hey, I didn't actually depower that. Whoops. Try again. Yeah, 55 is max dodge. Definitely. Okay, here we go. Gonna mind control the pilot. We're gonna halberd beam like this. Fire everything underneath. Stunned. 
he's in the battery room. Do I really care? Guess I'll go level 202 here and defend a bit. Oh, they're dead, though. All right, this ship does have a lot of crew left to mind control and board. So we may be doing a crew kidnap strat here. Also, as stupid as it is, I'm going to take this fight just so we can max out our ship. Sure. Okay, level 202, open the doors to stabilize that. It's the wrong room, guys. Wouldn't advise taking unnecessary ship fights in Sector 8, but I'm feeling confident in this run. Like, kind of worst case scenarios, we have to jump away, and I'm alright with that. Like, honestly, this could damage us. I believe it won't, though. Seems like a reasonable cloak. Yo, warm leaf lettuce. Welcome to the dapper. Cool name, man. Appreciate that sub support. Thanks for making it official with Prime and Feldspar78. Thank you for four years. Oh, warm leaf juice. Why did I read lettuce there? I was thinking about salad. That's why. Warm leaf juice. Welcome to the dapper. Thanks for that prime sub, man. Still a nice name, though. All right, we did it. Now we're going to jump into them. Phase three here, leaving ourselves the base as a safe jump back. Well, that's it. We've maxed out the ship. That's um, a very rare occurrence. I would say maybe 1 in 20 runs or less are able to max out. Biggest improvement in a situation like this would be, let's say, a heavy laser or something instead of ion stunner. Uh, bok choy would definitely be in the cabbage family. That was a really freaking amazing set of hits there. Cloaking. Alright, so I'm actually going to... Um, well, no. Let's do this. Waffling, as always, will counter mind control. Uh, Charlie, food's so diverse, there's no way I could pick a favorite ingredient. I like food. G G. That definitely calls for some damper time. Nice.
Alrighty. We have returned from Dapper Time. Alright, I think our score here, let's take a guess. Uh, I think we're above 7k because if you think about things that actually dropped in that run, we had Halberd Beam, Full Repair Drone, Defense Drone. Ion Stunner. So we had only four equipment drops, and even though we had the Scrap Recovery Arm for most of the run, we were still able to cap out the ship. So we're probably um, above average on ship fights and scrap. We also had two double dives. So that adds to it too. I'm going to say 7250, which is a really monster score, though. I think that's where I'm at on this one. Okay, not even close. Not even 7k. 66, 78 stats. Okay, scrap collected was way above average. Beacons explored. Above average, but not crazy. And ships defeated, also above average, but not, like... Not massive. Still, number four run. So, uh, run number 34, 35, 36, 37, and 39 were all top five runs. Some of them replaced each other, but uh, it's been a really crazy um, sequence. All right, let's go back to the hangar here. Um, let's roll our next ship. So how we're doing the FTL 101 now is I roll three, pick one. First 28 victories were on the first 28 starting ships. Um, but here we go. Uh, Zoltan C. Stealth B. And NGC. Eight thousand would be possible, Queeb, if you did a bunch of um, backwards diving, like you dived on purpose. The only way you could force an eight K score. NGC is definitely the best out of these, but I think we'll play Stealth B next. Uh, however, that is going to be on a different day on a different stream, so we'll just lock it in right now. Stealth B will be the next FTL 101, number number 40. Uh, I'm going to slide into some Spelunky 2 now. We'll probably get one, maybe two Cosmic Ocean attempts in before the daily resets. That seems, uh, that seems good. Never had an 8k score run myself, but I believe it's possible if you had a very good diving ship. Uh, doesn't mean you'd have to try to force dives per se, but you'd have to have a lot of situations where diving made a lot of sense. <laughs> and probably some good nebula uh, layouts as well. Okay, let's go. Yo, Warhamster, thanks for 13 months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thank you. Okay, let's pick an adventure today. I think Margaret deserves another chance today. Get back here, you little penguin. All right, time to put that penguin into the hole. Let's go into the mine share. Cool, Carl. Well, that's actually cool information. I've never seen over 8K myself. 
Uh, I think my highest score ever in FTL was like 7, 750. And that was definitely with a crystal sector in there. No, this is not the daily. The daily does not reset for another hour and 50 minutes. Uh, daily will be denoted by a red skull on the top right hand side. I would like that arrow. Hmm. This is certainly a thing. Okay, there's the key area. So just connect over. Swing and a miss. What's going on with this? I see. Oh, we're going to use a rope. That's a, that's a yuck yuck store right there. Time to bless this run. Holly statue down here. Love to see that. I also saw Percy there. Hmm. Here we go. I refuse to use a rope you can't make me. Oh no, is that going to go in? No, oh, Percy! I was just gonna sacrifice you on the shrine, okay? That's okay, there'll be more shrines. Wait, the wake up call for that dude. Hmm, there's a lot to unpack in that. Try this. There we go. Those are my nuggets. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a skeleton mince. Interesting. Hey, there's a turkey down there to get me out of this predicament. Let's go. Unfortunately, that also means abandoning the turkey, but I refuse to use a rope. Oh, no, wait, I can get out of here. Thank you, squishy turkey. Oh, ghost turns out. Okay. I got it. I get it. Oh, the ghost came in from this side. That is tough. Still not bad. Let's see what's in the crate by dropping a rock down. All right, three bombs is cool, but. Turkey punch. Fair enough, Mr. Spoder. Go. 
All right, should roll back through here if he doesn't kill himself. It's tough. Ow. I have enough resource to go into the jungle. Still strongly debating if that's what I want to do. Let's go for it. Yo, War Hamster, thank you for 13 months and OST bacon. Thanks for 36. Okay, well, um, is there a way to do this? There is. Wake up, dude. There we go. That's what I needed. That's my pepperoni pizza. Kali Ma. All right, so that's three live bodies on the shrine so far. So this should be our first item. So I apparently should have freed the help. Hmm, it's nice over there. Those were my knees. I broke them. Yeah, all right. Debating how much resource I want to use here. It's really the thing I'm struggling with right now. If I get that guy live back up there, we could, uh, you know. Just looking. All right, let's at least get Percy back to the shrine for Kapala, I guess. In a very weird spot. I gotta do that from this side. Okay, it's only one rope here. That's not it's not terrible. She gets no ropes. Do I want to spend one rope for 10k? Yes, I do. Oh, and paste. Alright, I missed that. Unfortunately, this paste is in a really awkward spot. I'm gonna do this. Okay, we're dead. We're not gonna do it. Right idea, that was going to be a very tough set of inputs, no matter what I did. Let's try again, Margaret. Would be hard to imagine a build that has less on the next one. That one was running on uh, fumes. Hey, OST Bacon, we'll get you out of that Hall of Fame right now, dude. You got it. Thank you again for three years of support. Almost. Oh, 
you go down there. That'll be fine. Feldspar as well. Can do. I mean, that is a mighty fine shot, man. I'll take it. Oh, dead turkey? Oh, man. More like Kali Ma. Oh, I'd love to rescue those turkeys, partner, but they're dead. What's going on over here? I heard squeakers. That's a very tough squeakers to get to the shrine. Don't think this is going to be our shrine for Kapala. Let's see what happens here. This looks like a weird drop down. I'm going to go out this way. Can we go all the way through? It is. It means we want to drop down this way. Hold on, hold on. Like... Yeah, hmm. The possibilities. It's only one rope. It's no Kapala, but it is, um... Definitely good. Pretty good haul. Alright, I saw the key area right below this. Really was concerned. I only have three ropes, and I can see I'm gonna have to bomb into this or turkey into it at the very least. Uh, those are always scary. Margaret with the moves. Where's the key at? Uh-oh, spaghetti. Okay, there's the key right there. Scene. Let's do this and this. And I think the bomb I want is right here. That was the one. Cool. Well, getting out of this for one rope, I'm I'm happy with that. The run is blessed. I'd say with this money count, we're probably going Jungie again. 
Having a hard time talking myself out of jungle. I love going jungle route. It's fun. Everybody loves a little rumby in the jungie. Watch out, man! Yo, what's up, Dale? How's it going, man? Alright, I'm at 30 Gs before he even rolls. Beautiful. Okay, so go here, and then go here. There it is. Nice three block right there. Gonna come back this way. I uh, dare ya. Uh oh, he's not gonna do it, is he? Son of a guns. Come go back this way though. Oh wait a second. Gotta let him walk over a little bit, I guess. Stuck it right to his little toe. Oh man. What a way to go. Got a clean 41,000 right now. Gonna be a little bit more thorough than I normally would just for thoroughness sake. And I'm gonna go back. I know I can get back here and the... Oh, maybe not. I was gonna say the ghost urn is over there. If I can't make it back. There's not much point. Yeah, no, we're good. My bad. Oh, okay. Hey, man, you want to help out? <laughs> oh, I guess I help myself. <sighs> All right, buddy. Let's go. I don't know what's over there, but I think this guy could professionally help out right now. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. Just like that. There you go. He's helping! Of course there's a shrine on the other side of this. Why wouldn't there be? Well... Certainly changes things a little bit. Alright, how can I do this without using a rope? There's gotta be a way here. I think I see it. Yeah, this will do. Never take a nap next to a Kali Shrine. That's amateur move right there, partner. All right, this guy's will have to die. I'll come back for him. Let's put the bomb up top. So we get this. Oh, hey, I can just do this too. Juicy cup get. Bear trap down there. I didn't see that before. Alright, so again, timing's important here. He's helping me get jelly. I mean, we're here, right? I gotta tell you, jumping over spikes is, like, not a great feel, but it worked.
I think there's a statue on this other side here. Okay, I don't have shoes, so this isn't happening. Let's go. Pretty good 2-1. Yo, Midnight Cooper, thank you for 11 months. Glad the stream continues to be a place you can come out and enjoy yourself. Appreciate that. All right, we got gold statue on hand. We got um, sister cubby, ghost urn. We got all the things. Okay, we can just climb back up here for the ghost urn. Excuse me, do you take payment in giant gold statue? Excellent. In my opinion, more places to take payment in giant gold statue. Is that a jetty in in the in the wall? For me? Serendipity. Yo, Baker Staunch, thanks for that incredibly generous five gifts of package. Much appreciation. Thank you so much. It was pretty nice of her to store a jetpack in here. That's all I'm saying. 12 bomb bag? Too hot, dog. We gotta run. We gotta run. It's happening. Alright, there's the sister. Noted. Oh, don't. Don't, don't, don't. this. Ha ha! Still love some, uh, some shoes. Don't want to be in the jungle barefoot, that's all I'm saying. Fungus. There's Monty, the bestiest of mans. climb this big vine right here. Speaking of which, who doesn't love a good game of big vine? Here we go. Oh, that wasn't quite good. I'm trying to land the last three tiles of the vine. What makes uh, big vine so exciting is the danger involved. We fall from this height, we die. Okay, getting there. Okay, I'm going to wait for the trees this time. Here we go. Oh, how far down does this thing go? Wow, they're almost there. One more. Well, that's close. Guess I'm just a little chicken today. It's fair. Nobody wants to die. Yeah, that's good enough. Later, Tater. Nah, Emil, not here because we're guaranteed, um... Oh, hot dog. We're guaranteed ropes inside the black market, provided we make it in there. No sense in saving like that. Okay, what's going on over here? Okay, sister's not over here, that's good. The pet shop in the black market always has ropes in it. Always. Alright, so where is Sister, then? If not there. Is 
sister has to be in the very top left of this map. Yep. Wasn't really even a question, just a process of elimination. We hear normal, um, normal jungle music as well on the outside, so we know the black market's not here. Yeah, the jetpack was inside the challenge area, inside the crust on this run, Corello. Okay, here we go. All right, our black market is here. Got to figure out where. Ow, my face. Okay, that looks like it, right? But it's not. I see sister up here too. Let's um, do some things. We get some black market information inside the sister area. Be like three tile sets below this. I'm also going to put down this torch because that's something that can explode the jetpack. Got this feeling right now that it's down there. Um, where did I leave my bow? Here? Uh oh. Is it in here? It's in there. Okay, I've already kind of squandered some time. Let's uh, pick this back up. gonna say where was it what the hell over here it's got to be right on the bottom level um what Um, any clues? Anybody? Really confused right now. It's got to be back here. gonna make this before the ghost shows up. God, this is gonna be close. Stop it, monkeys. I got some time, man. 56, 57, 58, 59. All right. Got two extra minutes at the last possible second. That was a brutal entrance. Gonna drop the bow off and I'll go back and buy those presents. Oh, 
One thing we kind of are lacking here is more bombs from the black market, but... <laughs> All right. Well, you got me there, shopkeep. Wrapping was nice, though. Nice touch. Well, we made it. Yo, Rabinhoff, thanks for 25 months. Appreciate that quarter century once again. An ice boxer, thanks for 37. Glad you're enjoying the cosmic ocean attempts. Quite as hoping to get a little cubby here, but I did it wrong. There we go. Let's do a wall method here. Looked okay for the quick kill, but this is much safer. Doesn't feel safer, but it is. Got him. I actually used three bombs on this fight to skip all three phases and just go in the top entrance, but I like doing the uh, some of the original methods. As a general practice, and not always just a personal preference, I often like to use strategies that people playing the game for the first time or first times would also use. Um, just something to do. Yo, Nerdy Coder, thanks for 36 months. Appreciate that three years, and welcome to the Hall of Fame, man. Appreciate you. A lot of three-year subscribers today. What happened today, three years ago? Hmm. All right, here we go. Okay. Spike shoes from a crab. Oh boy, loaded crossbow. I need one of those. Take my 
my back equipment off too. 12 bombs sounds dandy. A two? A two? Ones and sixes only, please. Lexi, glad you could make the live show today. Thanks for saying that. Oh, dude, that is an excellent way to die. A shrine back here? No. already have enough for the next challenge as well in the sunken temple. We're way early on that. That's a bear trap. See what's happening down here. Okay, I see Humphead in kind of a bad location. I'm gonna get Humphead up here. We can then drop down. Holy guacamole, nothing but a bunch of dead guys down here. Sir, no. Hey, no, no, put that down, sir. Pick up that. There you go. Jelly. All right, there's either going to be a good spot to put this guy, or there's not. Ooh, I have not seen this level on the third iteration yet. All right, this should do. Um, come up and over here. Oh, perfect, man. Hey, you. Hold on to this. Thanks. All right, we're looking for two pillars um, with one space in between that do not have stuff in them. So this is it. I'm going to put a bomb right here for my own safety. Here we go. Good. Ooh, that lava flow on the left-hand side was awfully scary. Put my rope on the other side, we were dead. Oh, boy. Let's wait for one more cheesy drip here, huh? Let's go. Hey... SD89, thank you so much for 27 months. What an adventure indeed. And Lexi Snap, welcome to the Dapper. Appreciate you making it official. Thanks for making the live show today, and thank you again for that kind message. I dub thee Sir Help. Now I can help forever in the afterlife. I'm gonna put the clone gun down at the door.
Well, we got Cracked Gold Snake. Cracked Gold Snake's the one. Yo, Grimden, thanks for making it official with Prime 2. Thank everybody for all the new and returning subs today. Once again, literally couldn't do it without you. Just grateful to share this time and place. Um, where do we think Waddles is here? Upright? Upright. We're going to go around here, though. Oh, thanks, UFO. Appreciate that. There's something weird going on down there. Interesting. The vault is literally attached to the ice cave. It's not not a normal occurrence. was lucky. Let's go. Wow, a little action down there, huh? All right. That was a cool noise. All right. Yo, Boltag, thanks for 30 months. Appreciate that 3-0. Six more months for that Hall of Fame. You got it right. Oh, my goodness. Crack Gold Snake. And double check right now if we got the right one. Cracked Gold Snake it is. Gold urn with a crack in it. It's got a snake. There it is. Love when it's nice and easy like that. Oh, hi, Lava. Not this way, then. Okay. Illusionist Trixie, thanks for three months in that continuation. Too kind, everybody. Too kind. I enjoy revelry. Let's go. Never open this style of chest inside Madam's. Chance for a bomb. Immediate aggro and soon after death. Okay, this is not great. Just cycle those real quick.
Oh man, that's crazy, Dale. Uh, having something fall on the guard. Never had that happen in there. I believe it though. I'll wait. I'll wait one more. Uh, Dragonfeller is Chilin. Thirty hills, plenty. Yes, procrastinator. That is one of the victory conditions you can defeat Tiamat. It's the base win. Well, we can see the challenges here. That's great. Dude, Waddler's right here, too. This is, like, super blessed. True, you can defeat Tiamat and then go up as well. There's no advantage in that. It's an objective, I suppose. Bonk. All righty. down over here for a moment. Nice. Alright, we'll bring the bow to this. I'm gonna go ahead and grab um, the 4 HP from the statue here too, since we're at a minute 20. Since everything was right next to each other, Waddler and the clone gun and the sun challenge, it's good. Give me that. Uh, the bag was the reward from the sun challenge, which is 24 bombs and ropes. Big ass frog, my dude. Bonk. Bonked myself. Oh, I see. Is that a dead Monty? Ooh, that's a that's a big time dead Monty. Not bad. Well, don't waste it. That's interesting, the um, skeleton went the other way that I felt I was orientated. Yeah, you can recover the arrow if you fire it, though. Uh, every time you fire the arrow, uh, there is a risk you lose it, right? 
Oh, what is this? This is not good. I don't like this. Oof. Could have been worse. Uh, weird segment, though. Ah, oh, dog. Lost Road. Thank you so much for 24 months. Appreciate that. Two years. Thank you. Alright, he got the arrow trap for me. Thanks, man. That was a funkerific climb. Looking for arrow trap or sticky thing. I didn't see any water on the way up, except for that. See what happens. Now, there's water. Sounds like they hit something. Just looking. Fine. Yo, Zimius Qatar, thanks for 39 months. One more for that big 4-0. Thank you. for one more set of double fire. One. You know what? I didn't like that one. He's pretty far down to drop down into his head, and if we goof that at all, we lose the jetpack, so let's not. Yo, solid, solid run, Margaret. Solid run. Yo, Vile678, thanks for 16 months. Congrats on that Cosmic Ocean progress, man. You can do it. All right, give me just one sec here. Just going to stand up real fast, uh, cool off for a moment before we dive into the Cosmic Ocean and beyond.
All right. This is it, everybody. Let's go. So, uh, here we are in Cosmic Ocean. Cosmic Ocean is a spatial plane. It loops left to right and up and down. Got to find three orbs to release the jellyfish from the exit so we can actually get out of here. I'm going to put this empty chest right here as an indicator of where um, I'm going to get to the exit from. Didn't see any arrows in the uh, the loop there. That was almost a death. Two. Whatever, mole. Loads of arrow traps here. I got that one. Oh, good. Everybody's favorite spot, Neo Bab. Mm. Wasn't the smartest whip ever done? Certainly wasn't the dumbest either. That, it looks really bad, actually. Whew. All right, it's official. We got a spicy one. Okay, there's a UFO falling. Now falling backwards through the perimeter, so that's eventually going to reach the ceiling. There's one, two, what haven't I seen yet? Something over here. Okay, that's the exit. There's three right there, beautiful. Oh, that got weird, didn't it? Oh my god, stop it. For real? You control yourself, man. There's one. Exit, I'm gonna put an urn on this tree. The mark for myself. There's the last two orbs as well, so no mark needed. We're gonna clear the exit out here though. Make sure we're in a good spot. Yeah, the jellyfish's inner perimeter is an insta kill, exactly. Cool. currently see orb three it's also apparently a very small level okay no all right it's got to be over here there it is
Later, Tater. Yo there, Hound. Thanks for nine wonderful months. Appreciate that continuation, dude. Thank you. the orbs i gotta be on this left hand side here i see this level is quite long though it's not not tall i thought i saw the exit yeah there it is let the old noggin remember where it is i don't need to know as long as it's in there Ooh, that was almost a bad time water in the level now. Okay, let's get this exit cleared out. No grubs, please. Hmm. Okay, that's where we started. Putting a rope as a marker for myself. There it is. Fear and Tide Pool is getting poisoned. A lot of chip damage are going to happen here too, but getting poisoned is the worst of it. Oh my goodness. Where's my one-up for that? Die, crab. No thanks on that. Alright, there's the exits. Um, can the exit be just access from the top rung it can let's throw a rope here as a marker and i believe that our last orb is bottom left no oh, bottom mid Heck yeah, Ice Master Z, thank you so much for keeping it dapper. Appreciate that two months a lot. You say a huge and sincere thank you to everybody does subscribe and resubscribe with Prime. Big part of why we're full time going on at 10 years now. Couldn't do it without you. A little worried about that uh, arrow that this thing shot off being in the level barrier somewhere. I think I just saw it. No, that was just some guts. That happens too. Our PB is seven ninety nine. Um, I've gotten one Vlad's Cape and one Jetpack victory so far. It's been a while since we've gone for actual attempts. Just getting back into it. God, that's terrifying. Weird, the arrow broke there, but I didn't get poisoned. Better lucky than good. A 
Okay, we got a very large level here. I saw a jellyfish tail above us. So... Actually create a way to the exit. By doing... Oh, the tail I saw was in the... Uh... The tail I saw there was in the background, not as part of the level. Okay, so we already have a rope here. Is this where the exit is? Exit's on the rope. I don't think that's gone off. Margaret with the big plays. Go, Rogue. Thanks for three awesome months. Glad you're continuing to enjoy the content. Thank you so much for that continuation. It's too kind, everybody. Too kind. Should not be on the top of the level with a jetpack. Uh, this early UFOs falling and hitting the top is something that happens very commonly at the beginning of these levels. There's Orb 3. Uh, 798 is the last level you have to complete. And then you complete the Cosmic Ocean, get a special constellation, and a massive sense of accomplishment. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Yo, Dr. Love Wizard, thanks for 84 months, seven years of support. Thank you. There's one. A lot of spicy action happening. Okay, that's a yikes. This is actually a little bit weird to get to. How am I going to do this? Alright. I'm going to use a bomb right here is what I'm going to do. Okay, it's just right here. Okay, that sounds cool. I can just run into it. Let's go. Die, frog. Yeah, there's a little area above the dwelling uh, starting area where you can view your constellation. Okay, here we go. But really, the real reward for beating Cosmic Ocean is knowing that you've done it. Accomplishment's a hell of a drug. I've been streaming for 10 years and um, gaming most of my life. And I can definitely say completing Spelunky 2 Cosmic Ocean is a very special feeling. All right, he just went into the inter-level barrier, so I'm going to chill on that for a second. Make sure it's actually clear here. It is. No, the jetpack has limited fuel per flight, and when you rest your feet on the ground, it refills. 
Okay, I saw that poison. I saw poison there too. Okay, I think this level is not very big. Oh god, there's Crocoman. It's going ham right now. Okay, now I gotta be careful, man. Swamp right on the exit as well. Amazing. Okay, there he is. Alright, so there's the one that's shooting over the level barrier. I'll go down here. I am extremely willing to use resources right now. Oh my god, they all flew through. This final two right here. Okay, now she's dead. Alright, that is more resource than you should ever use on a single level, but we survived the temple. One more orb remains. I have not seen the exit yet. There it is. Exit's cleaned up. Is that going to be a crab? Dude, can you not shoot freaking bubbles, man? Let's get those out of there before I accidentally run into one. Oh, great question, uh, Manuka Honig. The reason I carry Chilin instead of uh, ride Chilin is it actually makes your hitbox a little bit bigger when you're riding a mount. And since if Chilin dies, you can't get up there. Well, you can, but uh, you can't get up there the normal way. It is much safer in almost all cases to carry the mount rather than uh, ride it. Basically, you have like a 1.5 times hitbox because you're riding them out. So you're bigger up and down that way. Where when you're carrying, you have the standard size Belunky character hitbox. Which is preferred. Maybe 1.5 is overestimating it, but I am I'm reasonably sure your hitbox is bigger in that case. I need something to land on. Okay, good. This guy's got to go. All right, I believe the orb is bottom left. Ish. There it is, I saw it. So let's do this. Oh, no, 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 let's not do that. That was very juicy. Gotta, I'm gonna reset this real quick. Okay, there we go. No cheesy lavas, please. Okay, I saw the exit. I've not seen a single orb yet. 
this some sort of monstrosity level? Feels like it. I'll leave that guy alone. You have a nice life partner. Is that going to go infinitely? Thank goodness it's not. Once a falling platform has looped around once, it then becomes an object that can deal 99 damage. Oh my god. My heart skipped a beat there because I almost died. Dude, where are my orbs at? Where are my orbs at? What haven't I seen yet? Okay, I'm gonna check the left-hand side here, and then we're going diving into the middle, though I feel like I already did that. Okay, here we go. It's two. Uh, let's go around that. Okay, this orb has to be... Where? Over here, yeah. Going good, Helsing Twin. Glad you could make it today. Like, I'm playing pretty serious right now, but... I still don't have that same intensity. I know any run I can get 7.99. I guess that takes the pressure off, doesn't it? Oh. I saw there was, um... A Yeti here. I'm going to wait to clear this. Oh, definitely Corello. My speed has increased a lot. I have no interest in the Celeritas um, uh, formation, but you're right. Familiarity goes a long way. Bonk. Got 99 ropes. Should really look for some crates here. We're not doing bad on resources, but I've used more bombs than I'd average need. If I continue using bombs at the exact same rate, we'll be out of bombs before we're done. That's honestly very little concern, though. I can definitely use less bombs and still be successful. I don't think that arrow trap's gone off. Oops. All right, there's Orbo 3. DSZ River Flows. Thanks for 75 consecutive months. Amazing. Thank you, man. Get up here, you stinky fish. Alright, there's definitely some stuff going on around the exit I didn't like. I want to get to this from the left-hand side, though. That's a great last orb right there. Poison crabs, though, not so great. Oh, boy, he's doing it. He put bubbles into the level. Where'd he go? Uh-oh. Okay, that's all three orbs, then. Nice maneuver. Yo, Quarter Heart Gaming, these were 45 months. Sub support has been insane today. It's 
Thank you so much, everybody, for making this content possible and no frills for almost 10 years. I think it's really nice we all have a place to enjoy a game in the company of other people, if only for a few short hours. Feels good, man. Yo, Zunami, thanks for 17 months as well. Unreal. I truly don't deserve y'all. All right, that looks pretty wild. I think I saw a jellyfish tail up here. A hand of swamp. How you been, bud? Got to be really careful entering levels on Cosmic Ocean. Um, oh, no. That large swamp block can be something that happens. Ah, oh, dude. Okay. Um, let me go look for this other orb real quick. Okay, there it is. Hmm. Okay, I saw a poison spittle. Is that an infinitely going swamp? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. <sighs> that is some nightmare fuel level stuff. All right, tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna make my own way. Gonna make my own way. Yo, thank you all for that hype train, too. If you choose to share your resub notification, subscribe, use bits, or gift. Got a chance at some exclusive emote unlocks associated with the hype train. But as always, thanks for the most important thing, the time you're choosing to spend here right now. You know what? Let's do this. This is what I should have done to begin with. Okay, no more, no more infinite swamp. All right, now I'm going to bomb right here, and we're going to keep a, a keen eye on Crocoman and what he's doing. Okay, he fell down. That's not three? Uh-oh. I really thought that was orb three. Yikes. Yikes. Okay, putting rope here, because that's where my exit is. There's Crocoman. Dude, this is mega yikes right now. There he is, too. He's doing it. He's doing it. Get me out of here. What a level. Euler's number. Thanks for 57 months. Elusive with 4,000 bits. That's super generous, dude. Thank you so much for that bit bonanza. Rogaine, 200 bits. Ursa Kuhn, 14 months. Adonis, 14 months too. Ryu, thanks for 48. And Zephyrna, thanks for a tier 3 60 month subscription. Thank you. Yeah, I almost forgot to breathe on that one too, Corello. What? I believe it. So what happened there, which I was not prepared for, is that the UFO hit the spikes and exploded. That's okay, man. I didn't actually know of that interaction. Now I do. Yo, Ulticus, thanks for the gift. Manuka Honig, thanks for 100 bits. And Ulticus with three more gift subs. Oh, man. Y'all are too kind. I know I keep saying it, but I do mean it. Now 
we're certainly not out of the game yet. I mean, um, we will probably need to find other back equipment. That's not, like, out of the question. Okay, well. Let's do this and this. Oh, God. I did that to myself. Good run, good run. Yo, Shadam05, thanks for 100 bits, and Kalindros91, thanks for five months. Nice try by Margaret there. Nice try. Yeah, Tater, we have uh, two 799 victories, one with Jetpack, one with Cape. It's just been a long time since we've gone for it. Hey, awesome, Silas Lunark. Thanks for two months and that very kind message. Glad you've been able to enjoy the YouTube for so long as well. Gamma Goblin, thanks for 47. All right, let's do, uh, let's give NECA a go. There we go. All right, I accept that as my opener. That is, that is definitely a thing that can happen. Let's do it again. I did that. Cool, cool generation game. Cool. Extra cool. Okay, we got turkeys and we have a shrine there. What's up? Okay, I wasn't trying to drop down here yet, but I did. All right, where do we think the key is? Not on this level. Turkey time is sequestered, so we're just going to go ahead and do this. Okay, hold up, maybe I can use this turkey to turkey up another turkey or something. Looks like the damsel is in the sub area somewhere. You know, honestly, probably connected to Yang. Hmm. I'm curious now. Okay, that worked. I'm gonna give Yang his turkeys and see if we can get damsel on the shrine. Oh man, that is a really bad place to um, tame that turkey. It's gonna run right into that spike. Yo, Salad Man, thanks for that ultra generous 5,000 bits. Glad you've been able to enjoy the content since 2013. That is excellent to hear, and thank you for that huge generosity. It means a lot. There's no damsel back here, but there's like a cool helping guy. Hey, you ever considered a career in help? Let's go.
Okay, dude, you gotta put down the turkey, because you see, that's Yang's turkey. He doesn't like that. No touching. Yo, thank y'all for that huge generosity once again uh, during that hype train. Level 5'd it. Dang. I mean, I'm stealing from the store. Double shades. Oh, man, he's mad in there. Here's what I can do, though. I can get him mad. Oh, no, 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 sir. I wanted him to fall down. That was not the way to do that. Hey, man, so be it. So be it. Wasn't NECA's day, that's for sure. All right, guys, I do want to do the uh, daily today, but I also want a little break here. Uh, I think I'm going to end show number 2,592 right there, but I will be back in about an hour and a half or so to take on the Spelunky 2 daily. We'll call it a bonus stream there. Uh, so thanks for the great time and wonderful company as we played the Slug C today and got those Spelunky 2 attempts in. I'm going to take a short break, grab a little snack, do a little workout, uh, maybe take a shower, and then we'll head into the Spelunky 2 daily and in about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Um, post on the Discord when we go live, and we'll have a prediction of 15 minutes starting uh, for a wager with that little bonus stream, too. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit for some more fun, but thank you again for the awesome time and wonderful company. No ads as we roll out today. Uh, just thanks again for making it a great one. Appreciate you all, uh, all the generosity, subs, bits, gifts, uh, and most importantly, the time you chose to spend here, making it a great stream. Y'all rock. Appreciate it.